Hello, welcome. Today we're playing uh, Strong Bad, uh, Homestar Ruiner. Uh, this was a five-part series that was, they released like one part per month or something like that for like $10 a piece, and there was five episodes. So a total of 50 freaking dollars, boy. I did buy episode five when it first came out, just because I heard that that game actually had, or that episode actually had stuff to do in it. And uh, as for the other ones, I don't know, actually. Okay, Telltale Games. I feel like I should know... Is that the group that made the Monkey Island games? I've also never played any of those. Uh, oh my gosh, 2008 was 10 years ago? <laughs> oh man. Uh, cool game for attractive people. Okay. Uh, yeah, cool story, dude. Yeah, um, I never, I missed the, I missed the Homestar, or the Strong Bad Homestar, um, like, train or whatever. I'm not aware. I was, I just heard that people like it. You go. Okay. <laughs> Save road. Wait, is it my turn? Quit. Yeah. Scenes from the next episode. Quit. Wow. You go. Okay. <laughs> Th this is the kind of thing that makes me think that I could actually get into voice acting. Ready to start a new game? Any saved, unsaved, uh, uh, play the tutorial? Do I need to do play the tutorial? I feel like... Shit. I mean, it's it's pretty much a point-and-click game. How much tutorial do I need? I mean, I do kind of want to show the game, but... I'm not sure how long this will take. This might take, like, an hour. And I don't want to spend more time on uh, on the tutorial. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Rhino, rhino feeder. Oh, I, 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 I was dreaming about... Muffins. I wake up every morning feeling awesome. Even though I slept on the remote again last night. Ow! Time to tear up another day. This strong bad freaking way. Like an imploding star, like a burning car. My style shines so bright. Please stop trying to handle my style. Cause you can't. No, you can't. Uh, handle my style. Seriously, quit trying to handle my style unless you're a lady. Then you're cordially invited to have a giant slice of my style. Wow. This guy thinks awfully highly of his style considering he just okay, has no shirt on. My email, my email. I'm gonna check my what? Oh my Here's strong bad. I've got a question. If you hate Homestar so much, why don't you just beat the snot out of him? Are you chicken or something? Confust. Any M Is this even a game? Down California. First of all, I don't think a Frenchie like yourself is in any position to be calling anyone chicken. Comprendez-vous, cordon bleu? Secondly, I'm pretty sure I don't want to beat the snot out of Homestar. I mean, have you ever listened to the guy? He's obviously got a lot of gunk up there. I could probably handle beating the tar, the stuffing, or the into next week out of him, though. Oh wow! I bet I could find Homestar down at Coach Z's track. Right See, and I, I and, and I like Cartoon Planet, but yet this d d seems more like out of my league, kind of corny. Maybe it's just because uh, Cartoon Planet was nostalgic for me. Uh, in this, uh, I'm playing as an adult. Okay, so we're moving the, the Wii mode around. Uh, okay, don't need main menu. What do we got here? Take photos. I mean, we have two pictures in the camera. Uh, what is this? Inventory or map? Or this is inventory. Let's see if we start off with anything. Uh, nope. Let's see. Now, where should I put the track on my map? Put the what? There. That's a good spot to put the... something. The track? Can I just... Doesn't do anything when I click it. Oh shit. Am I going to that place now? Oh shit, I fast traveled. So apparently you can just put locations down and then that's where they appear in the real world? <laughs> I don't know if that's what they intended. Uh, hello, can I talk to you? All right, Homestar. I'm not sure why this never occurred to me before, but some French guy said I should beat you up. And I tend to think he's right. Put up your dukes. Oh, hello, strong man. Are you here to watch the race? 
a race. Um, no, I thought I was here to beat you up. I thought maybe if I touched his body, I could actually beat him up. What the hell does the down arrow do? Maybe that's back. A race? You mean <laughs> like a race race? Race race race? You haven't heard about the free country USA triannual race to the end of the race? It's only the coolest and most important sporting event in the history of sporting events I'm about to compete in ever. Well, are any sporting hey, events you know, beating important, you technically? Be almost as much fun as beating you senseless. I'd like to see it twice, strong man. I've been trading my tweets off for weeks now. And besides, Marzipan has promised me a big victory party after I win. I mean, it, uh, you know, it's only important because people decided that it is. It doesn't, like, benefit humanity or bring progression or add value to anything. Uh, I guess it adds value to the shirts that say that they won, that they already have printed off. Uh, so now, is this, is this like Mass Effect 3, just dialogue option selector game? Did someone say, party? Oh, heck yeah. Marzipan's putting together a huge party with floats and cake jugglers and balloon manimals and... And why was I, Lord High Awesome Party, occasionally known as Strong Bad, not invited? Whisperingly, I don't think Marzipan likes you very much. Uh, okay, so I didn't get any more uh, options, so does that mean I can't do anything else here? Maybe I gotta go and take some shit from my house. This race talk has intrigued me. I believe I will postpone your pummeling for now. You have no inside oh. to your mouth. Your mouth is just a skin oh, flap I'm on your face, this. dude. Yes, Marzipan. Oh man, they're doing the Veggie Tales yes. thing. Yes, yes, yes. Where stuff just no. floats around them. Yes. And they don't have I actual hands to hold it. Sack. See you after the race. Bye. Girlfriend troubles. Not me, bro. Marzipan just wanted my opinion on the decorations. And the cake jugglers. And the play of the lowlands toad weasel. And the bit did it be Huh. I'll have to keep Tell these me, two boys. I'm off to the Damn local it. room to reacquire my game face. Oh, so I got a new map location, I guess. I just walk around. Alright, cool. So I think I might, uh, like, keep these voices in mind. I feel like I could, uh, try to do these voices on an RPG at some point. I'm always thinking of, like, voices to do. Uh, I haven't played a game lately that had a voice that I would have to... What? What did he say? Hey, don't be fiddling with that Pogliacci stick. Oh, can I fiddle with this thing? Hey, Coach Z, what's this heavy lord for? That's for the second leg of the race to the end of the race. The pogo stick while carrying a heavy lord leg. Ah, yes, of course. How silly of me. Okay, I was just trying to pick up shit that's not laid down, or nailed down. Can I pick this up? Homestar's cell phone is finally mine! Now I can change all his speed dials? Uh... He's just gonna... These stands are emptier than a striper concert. So basically, we can click on shit and he'll say a thing. All right, got it. Hey, I think there's something wedged up in Coach Z's no-fi speakers. Uh, Maybe it's a sunspot. Is there actually a thing there? Like, is that a hint that I have to come back? Am I gonna have to like click on shit after getting certain items, like a point-and-click game? Where I gotta like. Hmm, looks like Coach Z's got the time to beat. Uh, where I have to like. Get shit and then come back and then interact with other shit. My F -stop there, strong bad. Uh, what I was gonna say a second ago is, uh, I have first of all, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna be interrupted a lot. All the muffling in the world won't make those speakers sound any better. Wonder if these stands will magically fill up by the time the race starts. Uh, no, magic shit doesn't happen magically. Everything happened. Everything is caused by something, dude. Uh, I should keep the the home star in the strong bad voice. I might be able to um to do those voices actually at some hey, point. Don't go messing with I haven't the system. I haven't played an RPG that I had to use a voice long term enough for me to like remember to do it every time. Uh, a lot of the games uh, lately have just been NPCs and just characters that you do for a short time, and then like then when you use them next time, you forget what voice you gave them. And then by the end of the game, you've done like three different voices for it. Yeah, in uh okay. And I haven't really been able to, like, keep track of whose voice was who. Or was supposed to be who. 
Why is there curdled milk on the track, man? Don't touch that curdle with the milk. Why the hell did he walk around the milk that way? <laughs> That's one Cretaceously big trophy. It dang well should be. That's the silver trophy of ultimate destiny. Awarded to the winner of the free country USA triannual race to the end of the race. Of course it is. Okay, I don't think the trophy is that important. Trophy of, what do you call it? Trophy of ultimate destiny or some shit? Don't touch that hurdle. Uh, okay, so basically, I don't know what it what is important to touch and what's not important to touch. See, like, when I touched the trophy, it gave me a cutscene. Like, was that, was that a necessary thing to do? And then with that speaker, they made the comment about, um, I can actually just hold A. Oh, I can actually, okay, so you have a little bit of, it, you, just, you just hold A and, and follow it. It's not like you just... Uh, you just click it and he walks through, then you gotta click in another spot. Fiddling with my dingy dang camera. Uh, there was a, uh... I can't wait to beat Homestar at his own game. For race. Can I touch the water? Thought I was touching the log, but... H2O, just like Mama used to make. But, uh, they said there was a thing in the speaker, but I don't know if that actually was true. He did say it might have been a shadow, and this guy is not incredibly uh, observant or smart, so maybe um, maybe that's actually not a thing. I don't know. I'll just keep it in mind, I guess. Uh oh, Did we just what? Uh, what was that thing that appeared? I've got half a mind to go over to Marzipan's and give her a piece of the rest of my mind about not inviting me to her sucko party. But where should I put her house on my map? Okay, I don't think this uh, actually matters where you put the shit. The, the, well, the whole idea of a map is that the shit is supposed to go where it is in, like, relative to the world. Even if it weren't locked, I'd rather not go into Coach Z's office. Or the Temple of Butt Pattery, as it's come to be known. Temple of Butt Pattery? Is that because they spank you and you need butt pads? To uh, withstand the slappiness? Uh, sure. I know exactly how to tell you this, man, but you reek. Really? I just took a power shower a few minutes ago. Well, let me check. Nope. Ah, fresh as a biscuit. Sounds like one of those smelt slash delt situations to me. Uh, this option? Not that I care, but how are the plans for your stupid moron party coming along? Babu, no. But it's been at least two minutes since Marzipan called me, so I assume it's going great. Ready for the big race to the whatever? Almost. I've warmed up, showered, and plucked my eyebrows. Now I'm just going through my pre-waste psych -em ups Okay, so the problem is... Right, give me the gym, Lise. See ya. Is I that... Like big champ. No turning back. Golly. You made a sandwich, now step in it. Okay. Uh, well, the problem is that I don't know... What's important to click on? Case, where all sorts of frightening and obscure achievements are celebrated. I don't know what's important to uh, to uh, to click on, and like like right there I, where I had the three dialogue options. I don't know if those three were like, if any of those were necessary to like progress in the game. Uh, let's go back to my house for just a second. I'm just gonna check around and see if I can pick up anything that's not nailed down. I should have done that first, but. Check out my snail mail, check out my snail mail. Mmm, what's this? I'm ready for the big heist. Those smoky red laser beams don't stand a chance when I'm in this getup. Mmm, I think I'll put it in my fancy schmancy trans-dimensional photo boot wardrobe. Well, you have one of those? Locked new costume item, yay. I have a feeling I'm going to be not giving a shit about that. I was never really big into, like, changing costumes and stuff, I don't know. Uh, no. Like, like that hat we just got. I, I give zero shits about that fucking hat. Okay, uh, I guess just start at the... This is Charlemagne, Strongsad's plant. It used to be healthy, but after Strongsad started talking to it, 
decided to kill itself. That's not true. That's not what the note said. Ha. <laughs> the plan went to suicide mode? That's silly. Hit me with your best food shot, fridge of mine. The only thing in here is some paleolithic fluffy puff mayonnaise. Looks like some fat buddy needs to go to the store. It was my turn last time. Who the hell is that guy? <laughs> Uh, okay, so we got, I don't know, I don't know what I need to click on, I gotta, you know. Do the dishes once our skeet shooty flinger gets fixed. In, uh, in a game like this, you have to click all the jams. I use the wavy mic. Its doors stuck shut the wavy mic. nacho entrails and mangled action figures. Yeah, we got a microwave at, uh, my apartment. I don't ever use it, but if I did, I would call it the wavy mic for show. What does it say? Melonade? You gotta see it when Strongman shotguns one of these things. Let's just see what's in the old CD spinner. Oh, it's Strongside's copy of the best of Brit Pout, the 90s years. That smoke detector hasn't had a battery since that day I made Strongside eat a 9 volt po boy. Ha! <laughs> Oh, the good old pool boys. The Luxa Lounger is even more comfortable in its ridiculously overextended mode. Oh man. If you were to lay in that, like, what would be the... Like, if you were reclined, your arms would have a hard time reaching the the arm jams. Alright, can I jump out the window? Sometimes, I like to stand in front of my window and start flexing. In case a girl's volleyball team is walking by. Or you could wait for a girl's volleyball the team to walk by and then flex, right? Since the last sunset. Last. That's a horse. Well, that picture seems like really out of place for the kind of life that this guy lives. Cheek, watch your freaking back, Squeaky. Man, that's one intimidating hush puppy. So, this game was $10. You're, so, you're basically paying for $10 of, like... Comments after talking after like touching shit. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm pretty sure the uh, the rate to add some much needed to my day. A little thing I like to call Teen Girl Squad. Teen Girl Squad. Oh my gosh. You need her. So and so. What's her face? The ugly one. Okay, gals and gal-related girls, listen to look. So good, so the same. At the sub JV basketball game tonight, all the cute boy pieces will be there, and maybe copy seconds for you. Oh dear, what is this? Uh, what the hell? I can turn the annoying music off. I kind of wish you could do that in the Wii, uh, the Wii Shop menu. Eh, eh, eh. Um, create his Teen Girl Squad comic book. What? Uh, using combinations of ideas or using ideas in different scenes can produce new outcomes. Man, I I don't want to think. Man, the fuck. You play basketball. Is that uh, what I that means? I my moves on this basketball. Oh, hey, basketballer. I know it's the wrong sport, but we can still get to first base. You don't got next. Oh. Uh. Text message ringtone. I don't know. Hair. Put one on me, basketballer! Who are you talking to? Oh, no what? That's what I'd say. If a boy was here. Mm. Walking is like a fashion show for shit. What is going on? Ringtones. Did any of y'all ever uh, spend money on ringtones? I didn't think ringtones were cool, but I never had people call me often enough to make it worth it. Oh, dang. Was that Brain Creek? I love cheese. I mean Brain Creek. Is that Strongbad's voice? 
I never, um, I never thought it was worth, like, spending, like, a dollar or two just for, um, to hear, like, six seconds of a song I like. You know? Later on the game! Uh-oh, girl types. Gotta look good to spy my hairless legs. Nothing impresses like a chest pass. He's on fire! So was I supposed to give him the basketball, I guess? I don't know. I didn't know that a basketball player was going to appear later on, man. Here, you. Send uh, him a text message. Ling -do -ling -do -ling. It's a text message! Maybe it's a boy! No, just... Mm. Mm. Uh, I reckon this comic is going to suck major donkey balls. Cover your lungs, everyone! I gotta crisp these bangs up with some ozone killer hairspray! Uh... Uh, I don't know. Put on some sunscreen! Ooh, SPF negative 50! It's over! Uh, that was inexcusably in-funny. I can't let the guys at the snooty independent record store see that! Negative 10 points. Maybe I should try combining some of my ideas on the same girl. Or maybe work on my comedic timing. Uh, well, you let people see your game. That's barely even a game, so why would you care how shitty the comic is? Alright. I mean, is this supposed to be a good game? I actually don't know. get enough of that sassy, injury-prone teen girl squad. The only thing that could possibly make their adventures even more unfortunate would be if I used those really cool Teen Girl Squad ideas I jotted down last night after a fried chicken pizza bender. Hey, what happened to all my really cool Teen Girl Squad ideas? Is that what we have to do in this, uh, in this uh, episode? Find all the stupid notes and then do the thing correctly? It's possible that my bed's under there, but I'm not touching it to find out. Um... That's my Videlectrics poster that I got for sending in ten bucks to become a member of the Videlectrics Good Graphic Kateers. That is a cool poster. I wonder what's plugged into the fun machine. Not this game. Okay, show me that logo! Awesome! Snake Boxer 5! Oh my gosh. It has a Wiimote on it. I'm gonna get to actually play this. Lady Snake Parade.